All right, my visibility now is at 100%. I'm going to reduce it maybe to about 75%. Once I'm satisfied with my edges, that means that the edges are smooth by refining them. I have done so. Go ahead and click on OK. And we still see that the marching ants are active. Among the top panel of Photoshop, click on Layer, New, Layer via Copy, second from the bottom. And it creates a second layer here. And then we're also going to go to Layer and choose New Layer. And that will be labeled Layer 2, which is perfectly fine. Click on OK. We want Layer 2 to be active, so I'm going to turn off by clicking on what appears to be an eye. Click on it to turn it off, and now we have the Layer 2 active. What I should do now, I'm going to go ahead and change the colors of this Layer 2. So I'll double click, and we want to choose a color that is light because we're going to add text to this uh, background. This will serve as my background. Click on OK, and then I should find here among the toolbar my paintbrush tool here about seven or eight from the top. Click on it, select it. Now the first option for the paint bucket is the granite tool, but I'll choose the paint bucket tool and then just click and it changes my background. Now that I've changed the background, go among your layers panel and I see that I have turned off the additional two layers. I'm going to turn the first layer back on and I want layer two to be underneath layer one so I'm going to simply click on it and drag it below and now I can see that my subject is on the updated background and the paint bucket tool is still active let me go up here and choose a selection tool and then we're ready to move forward